Try this. This is, you know, like a glazed donut. Yeah. So this one, we uh, double dip in a glaze and then we put almonds on top. Uh, we bake it rather than deep fry it, so they're lower in fat and the natural ingredients. Um, uh, so yeah, less than half the fat of a like American style glazed donut. So and that was made and tastes good. Nice food. Dum dums. Do you know what? Sometimes you know the the the, the kind of the you don't say vision and things like that, but the the idea for dum dums and the donuts was to create the world's best donut, which is a really serious kind of like people like looking at you, really sad person. So we wanted just a name that wasn't too serious. You know, I started off at, uh, originally when I was 16 years old uh, at Dunkin' Donuts, uh, the Dunkin' Donuts franchise in the UK, um, and I worked there for years. I was, uh, I was, I was doing some, something else at the time as well, um, and, uh, uh, and then really it's just been kind of ever since evolving, just trying to create the, the best product we can. So we initially did it ourselves as an unbranded donut. Uh, we did fried donuts, then an unbranded donut um, that we supplied to like uh, premium retailers across the UK. Um, and the problem is with doing that is you, when you supply other people your product, then they and it's it, under their brand, they say, oh well, we don't want this for our, uh, this ingredient here, here because it's too expensive, or we don't we don't, don't do it this way. And then before you know it, you lose control of your product. And it's no longer if you're trying to do something that's fantastic. The only, uh, re, this is what the kind of point of realization a couple of years ago for me was the only way to do that is to do it ourselves. So our donuts are baked rather deep fried. So when we went to consumer and we wanted to get a, U a USP, uh, we said, "What do you like and not like about donuts?" And what they like, everyone loves a donut. Bad point. A lot of people feel guilty. They don't like buying for their children. They don't like being seen eating a donut because it looks gluttonous um, because it's got such a bad reputation. So what we did is uh, we said, "Well, can we do it another way?" It's relatively straightforward to think. Oh, can you bake a donut? So uh, and, it, and that the idea is. Doing it was a bit different. We went to everyone and said, "Won't be a donut. It, 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 it just won't be. It, it has to be fully fried." All of the experts in the industry we knew, um, and we tried, and they were right. It was awful. Um, it was absolutely just the worst thing. It's bread, bad bread rolls. So little tweaks here and there, here and there. Um, uh, uh, we had, and then when we eventually had something, it actually came out that because it had seared the surface with a, uh, with an oil. Um, and then gone in the oven immediately, um, it rises and gets really light and fluffy. So it's actually uh, getting the benefit of baking and the lightness and fluffiness. But obviously we knew we had something unique, so we, uh, we uh, went through patent application and uh, received a patent. UK one first of all, then we got a, a European one that uh, superseded it, uh, and we have a US patent as well. So, how was your banoffee? Not very good. It's good, yeah. It's all handmade. That cream as well is like a creme of beurre that we make ourselves, and we, it's real banana puree, and it's... Nice. Okay, well in the centre, a, a kind of like, you know, a premium donut is usually a yeast raised donut rather than a cake one. So a yeast raised donut, um, uh, like the American style, are these varieties here. Sorry, I've been a bit massacred today. Um, and we've got things like, uh, this is a creme brulee, so it's got real crunchy caramel on top. Um, I, I moved to uh, uh, France for a couple of years where I kind of, uh, in, in research of like, the great donuts. Uh, and it's something I always wanted to do, was recreate that into a donut. Um, when we do something like a banoffee, it's got real banana puree in the filling, so I, I'm, I don't like uh, a banana flavouring. If we do a jam donut, we put a raspberry preserve in it. So we don't, it's not just a high sugar content product. Um, and you know, if you took this, this donut, it's about, they're handmade, so there's a slight variation, but they're about six grams of fat in those. Um, and you know, a, a glazed raspberry one of an American branded uh, donut. Is, uh, is about 17 grams, so it's less than half the fat. Of course, when we add chocolate and creams and things to it, it goes up, but it will always be less than a fried alternative. Um, and then we've got, uh, at the end, um, this cronut craze going on is, um, you know, cronuts have been around in the UK for years. It's a yum yum, a laminated dough, but uh, the cronuts are uh, trademark, like Dum Dums or McDonald's or Coca-Cola. Um, so it's a good trademark, don't get me wrong, I like, I like it. Um, but we really want to, we don't really like trying to do what other people are doing. We like trying to do that and then try and do something extra special with it. So we see, it, like our zebra one for example, here if you look, it's got, we, we do a croissant dough and a chocolate croissant dough and we layer those up to look like a zebra which is kind of a bit of a unique one to us. Uh, we do raspberry preserves, a croconut which is a coconut cream and chocolate ganache. 
So they're, they're all a bit unique. We did this one uh, is our version of a yum yum, which we designed for Peter Andre. He just liked the idea of the donuts, and I, I went and met, met him, and I like taking a present for people. And he's New York Coffee Club. Um, he was saying, saying, oh, can you come down? Because I love coffee, I love these. I, I phoned the guys uh, that night before I went down there. I said, um, use this recipe, create a, a yum yum version of it, and we'll put a buttercream and whip it together with do Dolce de Leche Caramel. Um, and, uh, and we arrived, and sometimes it takes like 50 attempts, and it's just not right, and things. The first attempt, it was a beautiful, beautiful, lovely donut. So I took it down to the present. He loved it, and then he um, ended up, uh, I've, I've named it after him. I, I tend to work with friends, so this is Jiro is one of my best friends for years, my dad's in the back. We've been working together on and off actually for years in one yeah, thing or another. I've always helped Paul with bits and pieces and his pony passionately believes in this and uh, I just help invest in my time and assistance too. Yeah. I'm in property. So I actually take care of the Sorry, business man. side of the business. So, um, so it stops those landlords bullying me around. I go right. just deal with them. So. You've got that element of trust, you see. Mm. You and, uh, as you can see, all Paul's associates, apart from me, are all lifelong friends. They've been at school together. So, you know, uh, there's that trust there. Shoreditch is great. Opinion formers and nice people, training people, knowledgeable people, knowledgeable about food and, and things anyway. But I just got this theory of build it and they will come. And I know it sounds a bit strange, but we've got a great product and we just needed a home. Um, we don't, sorry. Thank you. Uh, we don't really, uh, my, my, uh, what I try and install with people at uh, Dum Dums is I don't want to try and sell to people. I want to, if people come over and they like the look of their donuts, we talk about them, we tell them about them, we're, we're passionate about it, and we'll say, uh, uh, have a conversation. And if they want to buy some, they can buy some.